Hey everybody, welcome to episode 20 of the Random Pack Openings. Thank you to Bartman, who's been our co-host this week. And now let's get to the picks of the last pack, starting with this guy who got a shout out for a mess of things, the Rookie Shield and the Rookie Cup, very rare, very nice indeed. The Prismic Power also got a shout out. Very nice card right there. But the overwhelming majority of the shout outs went to this beautiful card right there. The Juan Soto is gonna be our pick of the last pack. So here's the thing, I gotta make a very quick announcement. So I've got like five playlists already running on this channel. I've got the What We Found playlist for recaps. For those of you who like looking through the cards really, really quickly, let's see what that roll is gonna be. It's gonna be a one, which means I'm going to do the pack that came from the Grim Ripper. Check out his link in the description. I've also got the Mail Day playlist. And we're going to get a six right there, so just one pack today. I've got the video response playlist. Another episode of that is coming soon, by the way. I've got the bonus episodes playlist for all the special stuff that comes up, or maybe something that's already happened that I would like to catch up with and share with everybody. And then I've got this flagship playlist, the RPOs. Now, in football, RPO stands for Run Pass Option, but here it stands for Random Pack Option openings. I thought that'd be fun to use in that way. All the episodes are made fresh daily with up-to-date community input. It's shot and recorded on the spot, edited up as best I can to provide you some good cards and good information presented with love and care for you to enjoy. Today I'm announcing the end of RPO's version 1.0. I'm not going away but it's going to be a busy few weeks for me in real life. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got to catch up with a lot of stuff. i got to catch up with a lot of your content. I don't even have time to enjoy your videos. So after I get a lot of stuff done and get caught up with everything, I'll be back with the second run of these RPOs that I've been enjoying so much to make. And in the meantime, I'm gonna have a lot of content prepared for daily uploads, a lot of cool stuff that I'm looking forward to presenting to you. I think you'll like it, I hope you'll like it. Well, I get my stuff in order, so then I can bring you Al's RPOs 2.0. Let's finish this run with a bang. Mark Melanson is going to be our first card. I always want to say Melancon. In 2016, the Pirates gave him almost 10 million, and Mark made it to the All-Star game. But at the end of July, he was traded to the Washington Nationals. Last year, he led MLB in saves for the San Diego Padres, and this year, he signed with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Chris Young, this guy's got a lot of jerseys. In 2007, he became the first rookie in Major League history to hit 30 home runs and steal 25 bases. They got him in the Yankee pinstripes right here, but actually he was picked up by the Boston Red Sox for 2016, where he batted 276 in 76 games. Andre Ethier, I got fond memories of this guy. The Dodgers picked him up in a trade from Oakland when we gave him Milton Bradley and Antonio Perez. Sadly, 2016 was the beginning of the end for Ethier. During spring training, he fouled a ball off his shin and broke his leg. He'd only play in 16 regular season games. Did have six at-bats as a pinch hitter in the playoffs. One of them hitting a home run in Chicago. Baltimore Orioles team card right there. 2016 was a pretty good season for the Orioles. They finished in third in the division and had a record of 89 and 73. Went to the wild card game but lost to the Blue Jays 5 to 2 in 11 innings. This was a great year for closer Zach Britton. 47 saves and 47 chances. 
setting an all-time record of 43 consecutive appearances without allowing an earned run, and a 0.54 ERA, which was the lowest ever recorded by a pitcher with at least 50 innings pitched. It was also the fourth consecutive year in which an Oriole won the home run crown. In 2013, that was Chris Davis. In 2014, that was Nelson Cruz. In 2015, it was Davis again. And in 2016, it was Mark Trumbo. It's a National League Whip Leaders cards. If you don't know, Whip stands for Walks and Hits per innings pitched. So as a pitcher, if you're only giving up, say, one walk or one hit per inning, it's going to be really hard for that other team to score. In 2015, Clayton Kershaw finished third in that category with a whip of 0.88. Jake Arrieta of the Cubs finished second with a whip of 0.86. And the leader that year was Zach Greinke for the Los Angeles Dodgers with a whip of 0.84. Fantastic work. Justin Upton in a Perspectives card. That's a very nice card right there. They show him in the San Diego Padres uniform, but in 2016 he actually signed with the Detroit Tigers. He had a fantastic year, a fantastic last month, and finished the season with 31 home runs and 87 RBIs. Fantastic work from him that year. Jeremy Hellickson. This guy was a 2011 Rookie of the Year. In Tampa Bay, they used to call him Hellboy. They got him pictured right here in the Diamondbacks uniform. But he was with Philadelphia that year and even started for them on opening day. In 32 starts... He went 12-10 with an ERA of 3.71, which was better than he did for Arizona the year before. Jake Lamb. This guy had a really good start to the 2016 season, and in the second half of the season he had some trouble, but he ended up finishing the year with 29 home runs and 91 RBIs. That's pretty good. Julio Tehran. This guy would have a little bit of a weird 2016. He was named as an all-star because he had a 2.72 ERA, but at the time he had a 3-win, 7-loss record. He ended up finishing the season with 7 wins, 10 losses, and an ERA of 3.21. That's not bad at all. Chris Sale is going to be our last card. Back in the day, I always wanted this pitcher on my fantasy team. So many strikeouts. So much power. He finished 2016 with 17-10 and record, a 3.34 ERA, and 233 strikeouts. He also led the major leagues with 6 complete games and 17 hit batsmen. That year, he was named the starter for the All-Star Game. He pitched his one inning and actually gave up a home run to Chris Bryant of the Chicago Cubs. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The last pack of L's RPO's 1.0. What did you think? Which one of these cards is going to be your pick of the pack? Obviously, I like the Dodger cards. Those are really cool. I also like that Chris Sale card. Like I said, he was my guy back in the day. But who was your guy back in the day? Which card are you going to pick? Thank you very much for these wonderful four weeks. I'll be talking to you soon. Until then, be taking care, everybody. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.